Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, my dear brothers and sisters. I stand in the land of Karbala, the land of Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam. I stand in paradise, and as Imam al-Sadiq salam Allah alayhi said, he said, Karbala rawdatun min riyadh al-Jannah, that this land here, Karbala, is the garden of the gardens of paradise. In Karbala, there are many maqamat, there are many holy pilgrimage sites in which the zuwar come millions and millions every year and visit. Behind me right now is the holy maqam of Imam al-Mahdi al-Muntadar ajrallahu ta'ala farajahu al-Sharif. And here we are today, we're going to give our dear viewers background into this holy maqam. We're going to tell our dear viewers and we're going to go walk inside the maqam now insha'Allah and we will tell them about the history of the maqam, the structure, the year and how old technically speaking the maqam is. Now insha'Allah, if my dear viewers can follow me, we will go and enter the maqam now insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, my dear viewers. As you can see, we were, we were outside the maqam. And here we are now in the holy maqam, Imam al Mahdi Ajallah Ta'ala Faraj al Sharif. In Karbala, every piece, every maqam paints us a picture of Karbala. In this maqam here, we see that Imam al Mahdi Ajallah Ta'ala Faraj al Sharif came to this area, came to this maqam, even though there is danger on his life. You see, Imam al Mahdi was in his ghayb al Kubra his major occultation and the Nawasib and the enemies of Ahlul Bayt والسلام, wanted to kill the Imam. So the Imam coming in this location at this time is very dangerous on his life. <coughs> Imam Mahdi Ruhi al Fida. We can say that the Imam Ajrullah Ta'ala Farduh al-Sharif came to Karbala to visit it, his great grandfather Abi Abdullah al Hussein, peace be upon him. It is narrated by Sayyid Bahr al Ulum that on the day of Ashura, he witnessed Imam al-Mahdi Ajrallah Ta'ala Farajuhu al-Sharif outside during the Aza'a Tawarij. The Imam alayhi salam with no turban on his head, with no shoes, ran with the Mu'azzin, with the Azadars, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Has this amazing connection, this amazing link with his grandfather, Abi Abdullah al Hussein salam Allah alayhi. Imam al-Mahdi in a ziyara nahi al-muqaddasa, he says, Liyabkiyanna alayka badal al-dumu'i daman. He says that I will cry for you, O oh my master, O oh Hussein, instead of tears, tears of blood. This is the Imam of our time, Imam Sahib al-Asr wa zaman salam Allahi alayhi. This maqam, as you can see, we are about 700 meters. That way, we go to the ha'ar of Imam al-Hussein salam Allahi alayhi. Where are, we are, about 700 meters away from the Ha'ar of Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam. And the closest street we have here is Shara al-Sidra, al-Sidra street. And along running under this maqam is al-Nahr al-Husayni, which is a stem from the river of Nahr al-Furat, which can be said or can be narrated that Abu Fadl al-Abbas salam alayhi alayhi, somewhere here in this area came to grab water for the children. Now, when it comes to history, or when it comes to telling you about how old this maqam is. From the research done, there is a book called Maqam al-Imam al-Mahdi fi Karbala by Ahmed Ali Majid al-Hilli. In this book, he narrates basically the history of this holy ground. He concludes that this ground from today's age till around what he did in his research is about 150 to 200 years old. He narrates a couple of books from the historians and from the he narrates he narrates a couple of books from the historians and from the mutaakhirin al muqaddimin of book of book of mazar of pilgrimage sites and he comes to a conclusion saying that if this place was old 
the alim or the scholar must have recorded in his books. For example, he gives an example from an Alam al Mirza al Nuri in his book Al Najm al Thaqib fil Imam al Ghaib, volume 2, page 139. Al Alam al Nuri records several mazarat in Wadi al Salam, in Qum, he records in Al Hill and several other places, but he does not mention this maqam specifically in the book of mazarat, which we can say that this mazar can be around a little bit younger, not older, around 200 to 150 years old. Furthermore, Al Allama al Shaheed Sayyid Jawad Shubbar. He has a book, a makhtut book, a manuscript. I'm not sure if the book itself is published or not. In this book, he narrates the incident of this maqam. As you can see here, this here, this area right here, is where this man saw Imam Al Mahdi Ajalallah Ta'ala Farajahu al Sharif. So the Zawar comes, millions and millions of Zawar come here, pay their respects to their Imam and they give their salutations to their Imam and pray a two-unit prayer of Ziyara. This man narrates, he says two people from the residents of Karbala narrated a hadith from a, a man who narrated from his father. They say they saw a scholar, a alim, every day. Remember, you have to imagine there was no building here, no concrete, no cement. Just imagine this area here as mud and imagine it as palm trees around us behind us we will take you after inshallah behind and we will show you that the area itself used to be full of palm trees and gardens this man was seen here in this area praying this man came to him and he told him ya alim ya alim al fulani the thing is we don't have the name of the alim he said ya alim what is the reason that every day i see you come to this area right here and you pray the alim told him do I take mithaq from you? Do I trust you in your words? If I tell you, would you promise to believe me? The man said, yes, I promise to believe you. So the alim told him, this alim told him, I saw with my eyes, Mawlaya Sahib al-Asri was zaman standing here. And from that day on, this big place became a place of history. And this was about the year, we can say about the year 1352, 1360 about the year in which this man was seen here praying. And from that day on, the lovers of Abi Abdullah Hussein, the servants began to build this place as you see now. Now inshallah, we're soon going to go outside and we're gonna go behind the maqam to give you sort of a history of how many times this place has been built and how many times it's been reconstructed from the ground. Remember, like I said, when, when you look at me here in the camera, you see a shibbach made of metal of gold plated. 200 years ago, there was no shibbach here. It was merely a ground where this pious scholar, this pious man saw Imam al-Mahdi ajallah ta'ala faraj al-sharif. And this place became a place where millions of zawar, especially in Shahr Sha'ban, Shahr Nusrim al-Sha'bar, 15th of Sha'ban, of Sha'ban, they call it the Ziyara Sha'baniyya wherein all the lovers of Imam al-Mahdi come and they pay their respects here, they send their salams, they read Dua al-Faraj and they enter. Now with me dear viewers, we will read Dua al-Faraj. We will read Dua al-Faraj together that our Imam, inshallah, Allah will hasten his reappearance. Now with me inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Allahumma kulli waliyaka al-Hujjat ibn al-Hasan صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصلى الله على محمد وآل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إلينا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم 
غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين My dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum again wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As you can see, we went inside the maqam, we talked about the structure of the maqam, and now we're on the other side, considering behind the maqam. This area behind me, right now you see it as concrete, as structures. Before this, this was nothing here but palm trees and gardens. Behind me, on the other side, it's called the Bubiyat area of this place, which used to be basically palm trees and palm trees and gardens and farmers. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go talk about the history of the construction. The first thing we're going to talk about is the first construction, Al Hajji Fadl Abbas Al Kashwan. He is one of the one of the thiqats of Karbala, and he witnessed a lot of what happened in Karbala. He says that this structure. Here the maqam as you see right now started off as merely being woven pieces of wood and palm trees for cover. That's the first construction. The second construction, the compiler of the book, Al Maqam Imam Mahdi fi Karbala, says there was a piece of poetry written by a Sayyid Mahdi uh, Sayyid Mahdi Ar Radi Al A'raji. This piece of poetry helps us trace the date of the maqam in the year. 1347 after Hijra. This piece of poetry also tells us the person who first constructed the maqam in terms of brick and cement. In the poetry, he says, Sa'a Ja'far fi bana'il maqami, fasama sama'u bi aqtabiha. Ja'far gave in building this maqam, his work pleased the inhabitants of heaven. Maqamun ghadan. مقام غدا للورى كعبة فما يحبط الروح إلا بها A building wherein later will be a Kaaba for the lovers, for the believers, for the souls to ascend for it. فإن جئته فاستلم بابه وخديك عفرا بعتابها If you arrive at the maqam, stand by the door and place your cheek on its earth. تمسك 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 بها فهي باب الرجاء وباب النجاة لطالبها. He says, hold on to it, for it's the door of raja, of request, of hajat is in this maqam. The door of salvation to one who asks for it. And then he says, وللإذن قف أرخو طالبا فجبريل من بعض أبوابها. For permission, stand sincere. Head bent down and ask because Jibreel alayhi salam is one of its doors. This is the second construction. The third construction occurred in the year 1378 by Al Hajj Hamza Al Khalil, which was also recorded in history by poetry. That's the third time it was constructed. The fourth construction happened in the year 1391. 
the maqam, as you see right now, was rehabilitated and about 2,000 meters squared of land was given. And this was by Muhsin Hamid Al Mulla Al Wazni Al Khafaji. And this occurred also recorded in, in Karbala Fit Tariq. The problem is, after he finished constructing the maqam, the Saddam regime, Bil Intifada Sha'baniya in 1991, 14 11 after Hijrah, the Ba'thi regime of Saddam came and destroyed the maqam and left nothing in the maqam but ruins, but a small room that the Zawar come. Now the last and final construction of this maqam happened by a man named Abbas Saleh, who was one of the residents of Karbala. He came here and he rehabilitated the maqam and built it as you see today. And at the end, on the year 1424, after Hijrah, the Marja'iyah took responsibility for the maqam. And since that day on, the Marja'iyah has taken responsibility for this maqam. Of course, for it being a post reminding us of Ahl al-Bayt, the Nawasab alayhum al the enemies of Ahl al-Bayt will keep on trying and trying to destroy it. And more than once, the maqam was attacked by the Wahhabi terrorists to destroy it. And it's not the first time. Karbala itself, through the history, from the time of Banu Abbas till now, has been succumbed to many attacks. So Alhamdulillah that we have this maqam behind us here. And Alhamdulillah every year millions of zuwar in the time of Arba'een, millions of zuwar in the time of Ziyarah Shaabani, they come and they visit Mawla Imam Sahib al Asri was Zaman. And here we are today, standing in Karbala, we raise our hands in prayer and we pray to all those out there to be granted the ziyarah of the maqam of Sahib al-Asri was Zaman. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.